For the Daily Commercial News in 90, I'm Michelle Wargo. Vic's Ember's Supper Club, a landmark restaurant just outside of Leesburg, which recently celebrated its 25th anniversary, was heavily damaged by fire late Thursday. Four fire departments battled the blaze and firefighters stayed on scene until around 7 a.m. Friday. The owner says he will rebuild. The Groveland City Council unanimously voted last week to fund courtesy busing until the end of the 2013-2014 school year for students residing north of State Road 50 who attend Groveland Elementary School. That's a relief for parents. This winter won't be as chilly for some 750 children and adults in the Leesburg area. They're receiving jackets and coats to keep them warm thanks to donations gathered by Miss Leesburg, Emily Pelton, and her court. Children in Lake and Sumter counties who've been removed from their homes for alleged abuse, abandonment, or neglect need someone who will speak up for them in court. The next training of volunteer guardian ad litems begins Tuesday, January 28th at the UF Extension Agriculture Center in Tavares. For more information, you can call Lynn Senate at this number or visit guardianadlitem.org. Megan Dunn and James Atho of Leesburg welcomed Rayleigh Atho into the world at 2.20 a.m. Wednesday. She's reported to be the first baby born in Lake County for the new year. Congratulations. And the Leesburg Center for the Arts will be hosting a roast for longtime community leader Tom Grizzard on January 10th from 7 to 10 p.m. at the Leesburg Opera House. For tickets and information, you can stop by Two Old Hags or call this phone number. For more information on these stories, visit dailycommercial.com. That's this week's Daily Commercial News and 90 on LSTV. I'm Michelle Wargo.